Listen to this next story. A 48-year-old man is in police custody after shooting and killing his wife with a bow and arrow after a quarrel over maize sales. The Tuesday evening incident that left Albergan residents in shock raises concerns on rising cases of domestic violence in Nakuru County. Let's get more from our very own Marianne Yambura. Wilson Koech's family in Laiwan El Bagon is distraught as they try to piece together the sudden turn of events that led to the death of 43-year-old Rose Kimoy. According to the area assistant chief, the couple had a disagreement over the sale of maize. The assailant is said to have taken offense that his wife and son colluded and declined to sell 10 kilograms of family stock as per the assailant's wish. The son, calling Skipchumba, managed to escape but his mother was not lucky as the arrow brought her down. Pata simu kupitia kwa mtoto ambaye hiyo bomba anaitwa Collins Kipchumba ambaye is a form 2 student Lawina Secondary School. Kanijulisha kuna shida nyumbani na nikakimbia. So kufika on the scene nyumbani nikakuta mzee already ameua mama. So alimuumiza alikuwa amepiga na mshale. So alimuumiza zemu ya chest. Nasikia shida imeletwe ni korokoro tano ya mahindi ambaye alikuwa amelete mnunuzi huyo kijana ambaye anaitwa Collins alikuwa amekataza huyo mnunuzi asiende na hiyo mahindi kwa sababu hawana chakula. Neighbors say the two have been in constant disagreements. Ibo bomba anatengeneza nga bombe kila siku. Na akitengeneza hii bombe wanakunywa wanafikana. Chusi nilienda safari alafu nikivika jana nikasikia ya kwamba ati wali Police reports indicate that domestic violence cases are on the rise with at least four cases reported in a span of two weeks in Molo sub-county. This bringing to the fore the challenges that many families face and the importance of mental health awareness talks to the families. The suspect, 43-year-old Wilson Koech, is in police custody at the Elbagon Police Station as the Directorate of Criminal Investigations conduct investigations. Miriam Nyambura, Citizen TV.